Hello again, everybody. It's the Reverend Jay Goldstein, and welcome to another episode of Doodling with Reverend Jay. Today, we're going to be drawing a hot dog. And I want to thank my wife for suggesting this drawing, even though what she actually said was, I should draw my wiener. Love you, Jill. So let's draw a hot dog. First, you're going to want to draw the bun because that's the part closest to you and the part that you will see the most of. To draw a bun, you want to imagine a long object similar to a hot dog shape. A hot dog bun is kind of thick and has a curved end like that. Extend, extend that line straight across your page and then make a similar end on the other side. And that's really all you need for a hot dog bun. So let's place the hot dog in it. Now you're not going to see a lot of the hot dog because it's inside the bun. What you're going to want to do is start a little bit up from the bottom and draw a swooping kind of smooth shape that comes up over the bun then back down. Go straight across along the top of the bun like that and whoops that's crap <laughs> and just make a uh, another end of the hot dog on that side. It's okay we're going to incorporate that mistake later. In fact, we're going to correct a second mistake, because I don't like the way this end looks. I'm going to draw around it like that to correct it a little bit, since I'm going to be coloring in the red parts anyway. Now, like I said, we're going to be coloring in the red parts, and we want to give this its texture. And hot dogs are shiny and greasy, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little reflection up here in the upper right hand side of this part of the hot dog. I'm going to make a little window shape like that. Then I'm going to color in around it. Now you want to do a decent job coloring I guess. Probably better than I'm going to do. It's not one of my strong suits as you've probably noticed in the past. Just try to make it even. Try to stay in the lines. If you wind up going outside the lines, make the lines bigger, and then fill those in. So you're going to want to color in, like I said, around this little window shape to create the illusion of a shiny spot. There we go. <laughs> oh boy, am I glad we're coloring that in because that is, yeah, that's, here we go. That's less terrible. Now to complete this shiny spot, you're going to want to make the edges of this little window shape match the edges of the hot dog itself. So you see the curve on this side should match the curve on this side of the shiny part. Same thing over here. Same thing on the bottom. And even on that side. Next we're going to want to color in the other side of the hot dog. And you can do the same thing over here. Make a little window shape. Try to make it match the shape of the hot dog. You'll probably do a better job than I did. and color it in. You'll notice if you do even strokes the way I'm on this side, it's going to come out looking a little bit nicer than the other side of this drawing. Be better than me. 
don't draw as I say, or don't draw as I do, draw as I say. <laughs> you can be far better than I am without a lot of effort, I'm sure. So we draw around this little shape here. And again, we just kind of make it match the uh, shape of the hot dog. So that this edge is reflected here, this edge is reflected here, etc. Now we're going to incorporate this little mistake before into our topping, into our uh, coleslaw. And what I'm going to do is just kind of make that same pattern we usually make uh, to make grass. Try to get a lot more of these short thick lines there. And coleslaw. <laughs> that covers up the mistake just terribly. Okay, don't do this part, but you probably didn't make that mistake anyway, so you didn't have to. Next, we're going to just put a little bit of shading on the bun here to give it some dimension. And you're not going to want to go too far across because most buns are sort of flat, and only the edge over here is really going to take a shadow. As usual, I've placed the uh, light source over here going this way. Keep it consistent amongst these drawings. Other things you can do is you can put a uh, little triangle here, kind of color that in and leave a little white stripe, and that'll look like it had used to have been tied to another hot dog. You could do that on both ends if you want. I'm gonna. And here we have a hot dog with topping. Now hopefully yours came out a lot better than mine did, but nonetheless, that is our drawing today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button, the share button, the subscribe button, Tell your friends about this and come back for more drawings. It's the Reverend J. Goldstein. Ta-da!